This video is the low carb difference. We're calling it the grown up eating plan. And it's time that we all grow up and stop losing our sweet tooth and realizing that our future and our health means that we have to start eating like a grown up. I quit eating refined sugars and so should you. You gotta cut out anything that comes from flour anything that's based that uh, has sugar as its primary base. If we don't cut out the sugars, we're going to never, never lose the weight because it's been proven over and over again that it's not the fats that make us fat, but the sugars that make us fat. It's the sugar hormone insulin that stores the fat in our bodies. If we don't put sugar into our bodies, it doesn't store it as fat. Eat lots of fresh, low-carb green vegetables every night. Replace your potatoes, your pasta, your rice with a nice salad made up of green vegetables, non-starchy green vegetables, avocados, onions, whatever you feel is good for you, and have that with your, your main protein. And you'll see the pounds start to come off. And after a while, you will not miss any of that extra stuff that made you fat. And when you get into new clothes, or the old clothes you couldn't fit into anymore, it, that food is going to taste even better. I skipped the bun and got my burgers and sandwiches lettuce wrapped. You, it's not the burger that makes you fat. It's the bread with the burger. So... Get rid of the bread, and you can still enjoy your burger. I left the high-carb chips behind and ate nuts instead. You know, potato chips taste great, and that nice salty taste, you know, we all crave it. But it's murder on your waistline. You can have salty peanuts, salted uh, nuts, and, and uh, walnuts, and have just as much enjoyment and not gain weight. In fact, nuts have so many benefits to you that it goes beyond what you could possibly know. So when you eat nuts, be careful. Take two ounces of nuts, put them in a bowl, and eat one nut at a time. Savor each one. Enjoy it. Because if you take a handful and you keep that jar of nuts next to you while you're watching TV, you're going to eat two handfuls, three handfuls. It's not going to do your waistline any better than eating those chips. So be careful. Two ounces, no more. Eat pork rinds, which has zero carbs. You know, I'm getting a lot of blowback from people about me uh, uh, telling you to eat pork rinds. It's zero carbs. They're on the Zone diet. They're on the Atkins diet. If you want to lose weight and not be hungry during the day, have pork rinds. They, you can buy them in the dollar store for a dollar. They have zero carbohydrates. I saved 39 grams of sugar from every can of soda and chose zero carb seltzer instead. You know, if you like carbonation, this is the way to go. I personally don't like carbonation because what I need the bloating for. And that's also something I did as a kid, drinking all that soda. We make decaf iced tea mix that has zero carbs and no gas from carbonation. We, we buy these packets. Uh, they come in powder form. One packet makes two ounces. Uh, two packets make a quart. And you save a ton of money and you lose weight and don't have that gassy feeling. I bake my favorites with almond flavor, flour and said goodbye to white flour. White flour is the worst thing for you. This is why the food industry has pushed it so much. Because it's so cheap for them to make. But it's so bad for your health. Almond flour, if you want a cake or cupcakes or anything like that, use almond flour instead of white flour. 
And when you're out in the world, avoid any kind of product that comes from white flour. I swapped the high carb bun for low carb portobello mushroom caps. You see this uh, mushroom caps almost looks like a bun. And the mushroom cap will not spike your insulin levels or raise your blood sugar or cause you to be hungry a half hour, an hour later. I replaced mashed potatoes with mashed cauliflower flavored with fresh garlic. You know, after a while, you'll forget what potatoes tasted like and enjoy the benefits that white cauliflower offers you and no sugar spiking and you will lose the weight and love the taste of being thin. I said goodbye to high carb tortilla chips and used cucumber and carrot chips for my salsa. Again, salsa is not the guilty one. It's the chips. One day I was in a Mexican restaurant and I was wondering why the people weren't eating the chips like I was. I ate two bowls of chips with that delicious salsa and I was watching them. I said, they must know something I don't. And what they knew was that those chips are high in carbs and they will ruin your diet and take you right out of ketosis. I enjoyed lasagna made with zucchini slices instead of the pasta. You know, talking about pasta, you don't need pizza, you don't need lasagna, you don't need spaghetti, you don't need pasta in any form because like I said, anything made from white flour turns into sugar and spikes your blood sugar almost immediately. And an hour later, you're going to be looking around for something to eat. So a word to the wise, you can do this. You can lose the weight. It's all in getting rid of of the sugar spikes in your blood, in your diet, getting your sugar under control. You know, people have diabetes and they're taking all kinds of diabetes medicine. If they get rid of the sugar in their body that they're putting into their body, they're not going to need medication to control it because you can control it by what you put in your mouth. See on the next video. And here is the uh, information we're giving on the Complete Guide to the Canogenic Diet, Discover the Low-Carb Difference. You know, we have this product. We, we were going to run it only for a month, but so many people wanted it that we are going to extend it and still make it available. Go to joanbart.com to get your copy or go directly to saturdaymorningdiet.com slash ketogenic diet ebook. It's a great deal. You get more than the ebook. You get a few other bonuses with it. So take advantage of it while we're offering it still. See you on the next video. Be well and let's grow up and have a grown-up diet plan. Bye-bye.